I met him when he, I think he was probably still in high school and he came down to the club that I was playing at and listened a few times and and then uh, at one of those uh, evenings he asked me if I would teach him and he was now at university and I said sure I said but Johnny I don't have the degrees so I'm not so sure that I would be allowed to teach you at the university however he coaxed them and he would come to my home and we would play and hang out and and uh, it was it was good good time for him and a good time for me. Uh, he's a player, a writer, he's an innovator, he's learning to be himself and creating things that are uh, important for um, writers and musicians. It's important that he is, keeps trying new things and um, listening to his heart. This is his this is his job, this is his love, this is his living. And um, it needs to be supported by the music community and I think it will be. Moving, very moving. It was a well done piece. The choir and the band did a great job. Uh, watching Johnny and how he reacted with the singers and with the guys in the band and how he managed to get what he wanted them to do in this piece. That's, uh, you know, sometimes as just players in, in the orchestra or band, it's sometimes hard just by looking at the page to know what it is that uh, the composer or arranger is looking for. But Johnny did a real, real fine job of explaining exactly what he wanted really challenged the, the players and I thought the players did a great job of, of reacting to those challenges and making sure that he got what it was he was looking for. If anyone watched the Junos they'll notice how much is going on other than what the musicians are doing. The behind the scenes things and the amount of people involved to make these things work. It's a very costly uh, adventure. The music community needs to, to get behind this and, and help fund, fund it to make it happen.